All right, so I do have to say that I'm kind of impressed with what 2070 is doing here, considering that I got only 8 gigabytes of memory RAM on this desktop, and I'm running uh, RTX 2070 with Ryzen 5. And all of my settings are set to high, even the ray tracing is set to high. So, uh, not bad for what 2070. So, if you want to put a combination with 2070 RTX graphics card with a Ryzen AMD Ryzen 5, um, it's not bad. I mean, I really didn't uh, expect it to to even do this. I was ex this is 4K and HDR and ray tracing and very high settings. Okay, let, let's uh, repeat that one more time. DirectX 12, ray tracing, real time ray tracing, very high settings, and uh, 4K with HDR. That's a lot of stuff for this graphics cards to be processing and what I have seen so far here for a 2070 and Ryzen 5 AMD CPU. You know, it really shows me that uh, a lot of people are misjudging the AMD Ryzen and Ryzen, Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7. Um, I think in some respects it outperforms uh, i7 processor like a 7 generation I think I think Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 5 they outperform the Ryzen 7 uh, 7 generation I don't think it out it outperforms the i7 8th generation but um, I didn't expect this I really didn't expect to see uh, this kind of result or I'm using 4K and HDR. So. Now, is this a smooth experience? Well, not 100%, but it's still damn ex impressive. It is still damn impressive uh, that I have 4K HDR ray tracing on and all this other stuff that I have it on and uh, that I'm able to pull this off with only 8 gigabytes of DDDR4 RAM obviously you need to you should have at least 16 you know you should have 16 on your motherboard okay just to be just to be on the safe side but still I'm impressed with what I'm getting here with 2070 you know uh, so who would have th who would have thought you know Now the 2080, I've been having some hiccups. I'll be honest with you guys. I've been having some bottlenecks, but I think that's something to do with my Windows. And I don't know, maybe my i7 processor. I've been getting some bottlenecks uh, with, the, uh, with the 2080 for some stupid reasons. I don't know why. But with the 2070, it just seems to be running smooth. Go figure. So anyway, there you have it. Just a little short video I just wanted to do just to give you my... Uh, thoughts and opinions remember this is 4k resolution with high dynamic range HDR 10 and high settings and real-time ray tracing on at the high settings with Ryzen 5 AMD CPU and GeForce RTX 2070 so uh, pretty impressive though pretty impressive I have to say pretty impressive well there you have it uh, this video it's in 4k HDR it will take a while to be processed uh, you gotta have a capable uh, YouTube app that can support HDR in order for you to see the HDR I did promise you guys that I will pump out a bunch of 4k and HDR videos and that's what I'm doing I'm trying to give you guys some examples here so you can see it for yourself and judge it for yourself so 2070 guys you know what I think uh, in my opinion I think honestly because I have 2080 I think you're better off just with a 2070 in my opinion seriously I think 2080 is a little bit overkill uh, especially 2080 TI's it's too much of an overkill unless you're gonna be running listen unless you're gonna be running a 
triple monitors surround uh, monitors with some ridiculous resolution, then I can see you getting into 2080 Ti. All right. Well, there you have it. That's all I got for you guys. So that's it. Enjoy it. Take care.